Hey, um, I had time to do a review today. Um, in a long while, I've actually had time to do some stuff. Uh, first off, I'd like to say Happy New Year. This is my last video of uh, 2009. Um, it's been a pretty good decade. Um, I've enjoyed it quite a bit. Except for I was like six when it started. But yeah, it's been a pretty fun decade. Um, hang on a second. Sorry, I was reading a text message. Um, okay. So, uh, I'm not gonna really do, like, a, uh, a countdown. I'm gonna actually do, since this is around New Year's time, I'm gonna do, um, a review of movies that are very, actually very special to me. Um, I'm gonna be reviewing the Indiana Jones Trilogy. Now, the reason I'm not going to be reviewing Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, which I do have, um, I really enjoy it, but I kind of, since it's so new, I almost feel like you need to review it in a separate um, separate video. So I might review it, I might not. Um, I feel like you need to keep that separate, because it's kind of like, to me it feels like the Star Trek series, like reviewing the Star Trek series, and then taking a different video to review the movies. I kind of feel like that with it. It may not be right, but I'm, um, I'm just going to be reviewing the trilogy, because these are the better ones anyways. Um, so, first off, um, I got the um, the complete collection uh, on DVD, but I got the collection that was when it first came out, not when they came out in, like, the single discs or whatnot. I got it when it first came out, um, and I think it's the best collection they have, and I think it's stupid and rip off how they, um, took, they got this out and made it expensive, and then you had to go out and get the, you can go get them singly after about a year. Um, this includes... Raiders of the Lost Ark, Temple of Doom, Last Crusade, and this bonus ma uh, bonus material uh, disc. Um, I'm kind of going to review reviewing all four of these discs. Um, first off, I'd like to say Raiders is my favorite, and then Temple of Doom and Last Crusade are about the same for me. I would say Temple of Doom maybe a little more just because I saw that one first. But um, first off, I'm going to go into Raiders of the Lost Ark. Now, Raiders of the Lost Ark is what it was first originally called. It wasn't called Indiana Jones and the Raiders of the Lost Ark. But George Lucas likes to change it around quite a bit. You know, he did the same thing with Star Wars. Uh, he did, um, it was just called Star Wars, and now it's Star Wars Episode Four: A New Hope. Um, but now it's called Indiana Jones and the Raiders of the Lost Ark. And this is the first movie that came out in the, the trilogy. Um, I'm, I'm assuming George Lucas didn't want to, didn't, Meant, didn't think about it being a trilogy because he never really thinks about that stuff. But um, this is by far the best one, I think, in my opinion. It's just um, the pinnacle of what Indiana Jones is. Um, <clears throat> basically, if you don't know the story of Indiana Jones, he's an archaeologist who goes around and finds uh, sacred artifacts. Um, and he goes on all, basically, adventures. First, I'd just like to say, Indiana Jones is, like, the pinnacle of of adventure movies. Um, they are, like, if you want adventure in a movie, you gotta see Indiana Jones, duh. But, um, I've, I've watched Raiders since I was about eight years old, and I've just loved it. Um, it has Nazis, it has, uh, big giant balls rolling at a, at a dude. Uh, it's kind of just, um, has, it has a fine mixture of, uh, love, seriousness, action, and comedy. And, um, highly recommend all of these Indiana Jones movies. But this one, uh, yeah, this one's the best. Um, they're looking for the Ark of the Covenant, which is what Moses kept his, um, the Ten Commandments in, supposedly. And they're looking for that, and it's a classic, and I don't really have to say much about it. Okay, and then t Temple of Doom. This came out uh, not long after the first one. Um, it, it's been criticized for it being more darker. It's been kind of the least favorite of the Indiana Jones movies because of its 
being dark and whatnot. I saw this one right after I saw Raiders, just a few years after I saw Raiders. Um, and I actually really enjoy this one. Um, I like how it took a dark turn for one, for one um, movie, because, I mean, all adventures, not all of them are going to be the same, you know? And they all have a nice twist. Um, this actually, this one actually takes place um, a few years before Raiders would have taken place if you went in the timeline of the story, um, even though this one came out second. Um, basically, I don't remember what the what the thing you searched. They're like uh, rocks. <laughs> they're like sacred uh, glowing rocks or whatever. But um, they're it's it's actually a really great. Um, movie i think it, it and I, I think what it has one of the best scenes ever when uh, at the very end spoiler alert if you haven't seen this but um when he because the children of the village that he runs into where they're looking for the, their rocks is uh um, the children are missing and in the movie he goes and he finds the temple of doom basically and he finds out that the kids are actually like slave workers they're actually there working and and they kind of are held captive and um, he frees, basically frees the kids. And it's a touching scene at the very end where it's, it's playing the Indiana Jones music and he's on a hill and all of a sudden all these kids come running behind him to the village and all the parents see him coming. And it's just, I think it's really um, a great shot and just a great, it just makes you feel good after you see it. So I actually really like that. Um, but yeah, that's, that's Temple of Doom. Um, I really like that one too. Next is Last Crusade. Now, Last Crusade, um, I saw this one uh, quite a while after I saw the other two. This one, uh, for some reason, I just never really saw as much of. My dad didn't really have it, so like we never really watched it. But when I got the collection, uh, well, not really when I got the collection. I saw it before I got the collection, but um, this one he has uh, actually in these dad joints, and this one they talk about has more of a a Raiders feel to it. It's not much of it's it's back to that old formula, which is actually really great. I mean, there's more Nazis, and I love Nazis. I love people kicking Nazis butts and stuff. I don't know why. It's just funny, but um, uh, there's some great um great scenes in this one too with him and his dad. There's a great um flashback scene when he's a kid like his first adventure basically um i really like like that that's at the very beginning of the movie it tells you everything about like how he got the whip and how he got a scar under his chin and and stuff like that which is really neat um next is the special features disc which i don't know why i'd be reviewing this just because i have it i guess but um it has a lot of the behind the scenes stuff which is really cool and it's pretty long it's actually worth the extra disc but um now i'm kind of just gonna talk about them in a whole um i just really love these movies because they are like i said the pinnacle of adventure and heroism and um i really enjoy the locations um i really like how um when people go there's there's all these puzzles he has to solve uh for for example, in Last Crusade, he goes in and he has to, he's trying to find the t uh, tomb, and he actually goes inside a library and bashes in the floor, finds a hole in the floor, goes down there, he has to go through all this stuff and find, he hits all these different tools. It kind of reminds me of uh, National Treasure. This is like what National Treasure got some of its flair from. They kind of look, I'm, I'm pretty sure they had to have looked at Indiana Jones, but um I really recommend these. I really recommend these. I don't know who hasn't really seen them. If you haven't, I really recommend these. Um, they're just great movies. The music's great. Everything's great. Visuals are great. Everything. Um, and I have one more thing to say. And if Blows Himself Up Dude is watching this, I uh, have a request for you. I want you to review these and tell me what you think of of these Indiana Jones series. Um, if you find this. And if people know how to get a hold of him, message him. So... Um, yep, that's about it.